you doing? Should have play sweet shows. Jack? How are you? How would you feel if Edmonton was picking number two right now? I mean, I'd be I'd be really happy to go to any NHL team. I mean, I, I was pretty happy with Buffalo getting the second pick. I think it all worked out. And so what do uh, your parents think? They were really happy when, when you guys didn't win the lottery as well. We are here to determine the order for the first 14 selections of the 2015 NHL Draft. So Scott, the numbers are? One, five, six, 14. Which team has that combination? And we have a winner. The first overall pick belongs to the Edmonton Oilers. Maybe we won the lottery. I think you did. It was a hard year on the ice, obviously, finishing 30th, but at the same time, knowing that we would have an opportunity to have a franchise player was very exciting. Welcome to the 2015 NHL Draft. Until the words come out of your mouth, you assume something could go wrong. Obviously, we knew two were going to get one of the two. You never know what's going to happen. With Jack, we knew he was an elite athlete, but he blew the combine physical testing away. He was the top in seven out of 10 tests. We expected that. Not only is he an outstanding hockey player, he's the best athlete at the combine. The Sabres excited about what could be a franchise-altering evening. The over-under on how many words you're going to say before Jack Eichel is four. Yeah, four? Two. My agent turned around and said, you know, he's not going to say much up there. It should be something like Buffalo Sabres select Jack Eichel. I thought he was just going to say Jack. There was actually a couple people sit. Tim's going to go up to the, the mic and just point at him. He knew it was going to be four words or less, and we did warn him on that. Uh, you know, in case he took uh, offense to the fact that I didn't thank everybody in the world and was uh, so very pleased to select him. You know, that's him, and you know, I think that's uh, I think that was pretty funny. He stood up from the table, and as he was walking up to the stage, he started staring at me. So uh, he was just then giving me a dead stare. Uh, the stare down was. I just happened to catch his eye, so I just didn't let it go until I had to turn the corner, and he thought that was pretty good, I guess. We have heard things all day that trades were imminent, and maybe Jack wasn't going there, and then when Mr. Murray was going up to make the pick, he stared at Jack the whole walk, and I just kind of gave Jack a little nudge and says, I think we're good. I was pretty relaxed, a little bit anxious, and you know, when he stood up and started staring at me, that's when I knew he was going to pick me. Buffalo Sabres, they own the number two pick. They are expected to take Jack Eichel. Here's Tim Murray. Buffalo selects. So let's say you are drafted by the Buffalo Sabres. Really oh. love the chance to play you know, in the IHL next year. Listen, we've been through two tough years here, a year and a half for me. Uh, I guess that's the prize at the end of the uh, rainbow, or the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. If I, if I was telling you I didn't want to you know, be a saver, I'd be lying. This is where I wanted to be. And you know, for everything to fall you know, the way that I wanted it to, and you know, for me to you know, be a part of this organization, it's a dream come true. Buffalo selects Jack Eichel. I love you. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. He's been talked about as a franchise player or a star player for a long time. You start thinking in the future what uh, getting that prize could mean to the organization and, and the places we can go. I'm shaking a little bit. I'm shaking more than you. <laughs> Finally, at the end of a tough year, I got a little bit excited for 20 seconds on stage. Yeah. You know, he was just as excited as I was, and you know, it says a lot. Jack, uh, you, you told us yesterday you, you'd let us know or you have made a decision one way or the other. Are you going to go to the NHL this year? Uh, I guess we'll see in a few days.
taking a few days, you know, after the draft and letting kind of everything settle down a little bit, being able to, you know, come back to Buffalo and sign my contract. This one makes this one official right here, Jack. There it is. Congratulations, son. Thank you. Great to have you here. It's great to be here. I just expect him to get better every day. I expect growth. I know there's going to be some nights that he has good nights and people are going to say he's arrived. And after his arrival game, he's going to have some tough nights. And that's the way it's going to be. There's a lot of challenges in moving to the NHL. I think that's why it's the best league in the world. And, you know, I want to be the best in whatever I'm doing. So, uh, you know, I put pressure on myself to, you know, come in and be the best player I can be. I think he did. Beyond Blue and Gold is presented by New Era, the official cap of the Buffalo Sabres.